All right, I'm getting ready to remove the starter off a John Deere 185 Hydro mower with a single cylinder Kawasaki. This is my parts mower. And whoever I got it from gave this starter a flogging. And I'd like it to work someday. So it's a bolt here. It's a bolt here. It's a bolt here to get rid of power. It's this bolt here and this bolt here to get rid of that thing so it'll drop out. Here we go. I do it in this order to have space to work. Crack that one. Come up here and crack this one. Because this is a parts mower, the cowling's already gone. There's a little green cowling right here, probably on yours, or the bolt right there that's 10 mil. You gotta take that out first to be able to get at this, but mine's already out because it lives its life mostly disassembled because that's what it's for. But yours might not, so you can do that. All right, the first two were 13 mil. This one is also a 13 mil to crack it loose. You just pull all the wires off, pull this thing off, and we're going up here to crack these two loose. And they are a 12, 13 doesn't work. Both of those are out, and if it's hung on this long, you should be able to just coax it free. Usually they'll fall right out before you get that far. And there's your starter. I'm gonna take it to a local guy that rebuilds them, have him check it over, you know, turn it into a good starter again. That's the plan. Here it is. I always put the bolts back in my parts because otherwise I lose them. And there are the 185 sets till the next time we rob something off it. Just here in the barn, you know, with the hockey nets. Why not? 217 degrees here today. Now the time to have that starter rebuilt would have been before the one on my good mower went bad. Now that's never how I roll. So I grabbed that one because I have to take the one off the running mower to be rebuilt. So I figured, why not take them both, you know? Then I'll have two good starters and I'll never need the spare one again, probably. That's, that's how it'll work.